Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. First, you probably noticed there haven't been many daily bites lately. I'm traveling in London doing InfoSec UK, a very popular security conference, so I haven't had a ton of time to do these sort of posts. But I'll try to do a few more in the next few days, including a short post about InfoSec tomorrow. In any case, Wednesday's story is a Japan pension system data breach. Big news early this week was the Japan pension system had a data breach where they lost the records of 1.25 Japanese citizens. Now the breach happened due to a spear phishing email. Bad guys sent a very well targeted spear phishing email that had a document that seemed to have to do with uh, the changes to the pensioning system uh, that of course an employee fell for and that's what infected his computer and allowed the bad guys to get into the internal data. The data that was lost was typical PII or personally identifiable information, your name, your address, and things like that. But some experts are worried that by having access to your address, the bad guys can change your address so that your financial information gets sent to them as well. So if you're a Japanese pensioner, you'll probably want to do credit monitoring in the near future to make sure that bad guys don't get more of your data. So anyways, typical spear phishing attack. If you've watched my videos over the months, I've been talking a lot about spear phishing. This is really something you need to train your users about. Phishing has become much more targeted and is much better at getting users to click on enticing attachments and links, so we need to make sure our users know how to deal with that. As an aside, it's interesting to note that the Japanese pension system had a data breach of over 50 million records as well back in, I think, 2007-2008. But in that case, the data leak was due to a lost record, not actually a cyber attack. Anyways, that's it for today. I'll try to do more videos on the road, including giving you a little look at what we're doing here at InfoSec. And by the way, WatchGuard has announced new Firebox M200 and M300 appliances, which are great devices to bring enterprise security to small to medium businesses. So that's really what we're here talking about at InfoSec. Thanks for watching.